Sailor Moon Collectibles News and Reviews. Sailor Moon. Hey there, Sailor Moon fans. I am Sailor Tortilla, and this is the Glitter and Glamour's Ben Presto Eternal Sailor Moon Type A. We will be comparing it to Type B. I want to tell you ahead of time that this is the more vibrant of the two. The other one is more pastel color. I adore the boxes of these. There are one piece figures that are also in this line that are just lovely. So Sailor Moon is actually not the only type of glitter and glamours figure out there. There's also a Super Sailor Moon that I reviewed earlier. So yeah, this is the A-Type and here are the two differences. A-Type, you're gonna say maybe it's more anime color and B-Type is more pastel or more like Sailor Moon Eternal, which this is stylized too. The figure only takes up about 50% of the box and you have to assemble it. Not a lot of assembly, not like a GK figure, but you're gonna attach the hair and the bow and it's gonna be great. We're gonna go through it together. She has a an interesting cheese wedge we'll talk about. So the arm is separate and you can actually kind of mess up and put it on wrong, but the figure, the sculpt is beautiful. I always love that you can see the ribs inside of the body suit. And yep, this is how she's supposed to be reaching out to you very lovingly, just like Sailor Moon does. And this is the cheese wedge. Why am I calling it the cheese wedge? Well, on the last figure, it was yellow and it was disgusting and it was horrible. So it's a little better now that it's white, but I wish it was clear. Um, kind of an interesting stand there. Usually there's a circular base. Here's her first hair tendril. It has a specific shape, so you'll know which hair piece goes on which side. Mine are a little funny. Uh, this figure is about 25 bucks. It's not a high, high, high quality figure. So you're gonna run into stuff like this. The ribbon is cute and you have to put it on before you put the wings on. I made that mistake the first time I opened up my B-Type. That's the more pastel one. And you gotta really stick it in there. Uh, a lot of people have seen that these have been bent kind of weird in shipping. So you'll notice there's a difference between my two figures. There might be a difference when you get it, but the wings are beautiful. I love the sculpt. I love that you can see the feathers. It's a cool difference from what we're used to with Sailor Moon stars and even Sailor Moon Eternal. I don't think it really realized this individual feather type design. So the wing on the right side kind of doesn't fit all the way. Um, it's the same thing on my B-type figure. It's just one of those funny things, but she is cute. I love the colors. Um, it could be a little more red, but I know that this is Sailor Moon Eternal style. Eternal Sailor Moon, that's a, that's a tongue twister, but it's stylized to the movie that's on Netflix. And the movie that's on Netflix is extremely bright and it is a lot more pink than it is red like in the classic anime. So that's why you're seeing this hot pink and not the classic navy blue and red combination. So here are the two boxes. They look very, very similar, but they do contain pictures of the different types. You see that the B type has more pastel pink and I don't wanna call that yellow neon, but it looks a little more neon here in video. So here she is, that's the B-Type, just popping in to say hello. These figures are gorgeous. I don't know if I've really gotten into talking about how much I love them. Oh yeah, that's a thing. Um, <laughs> these could actually potentially stand on their own without the stand. I've just made my life a lot more difficult by filming this with my desk chair, because um, that's how it be. And yeah, this, uh, this can get a little frustrating but they are extremely gorgeous. So to remind you, this is the A-type that we're looking at. It is the one with the more hot pink color. And why am I saying this so many times? Because this is my second A-type. My first A-type, see there's the B-type, came with a B-type inside of the box. Yeah, the box was the A-type box. It said A on the box and everything, but what was inside was this figure. And this figure is certainly the B-type. Here they are side by side. I want you to get a good look at these so you know for sure which is which. Why? Because I am not the only person who got the wrong figure inside of the box. So make sure if you got the A-type specifically, because the B-type doesn't seem to have this problem. The B-type, the problems that I've heard is that they come maybe without the wing, maybe without one of the hair tendrils. Kind of pretty serious issues. But with the A-type, you might get that pastel -y b B-type in the box. So watch out, be careful. I think the hair has a little more green quality to it. 
The best way I can tell you to figure out which one you're looking at is look at the ribbon and look at the pink on the skirt. It's very obvious when you put them side by side, it's just not obvious if you only have one type, which is why I'm telling you, watch out, email your manufacturers and get a replacement in case yours is wrong, because mine was, and thank goodness we work with a lot of good companies that help you do that. But Bandai will probably not help you. Bandai owns Banpresto. If you're missing pieces inside of the box, the return may be more problematic, especially if you have a Japanese release. But all in all, these are great figures. These are really gorgeous. I have nothing negative to say about them. For the price point, it is exactly the quality I would expect for 25 bucks. There's a lot of people selling these on like eBay or something for like 40 bucks, 50 bucks. I am not vibing with that. Um, this is pretty readily available. It's becoming more difficult to get. So when you look for this figure, you're looking for the Glitter and Glamours Eternal Sailor Moon from Sailor Moon Eternal. I am Sailor Tortilla. That is the video. You can suggest whatever you like in the comments and I will do my best to talk about it, show it to you. I just like talking about Sailor Moon. Thanks for coming. Bye bye Oh yeah, and here's some more footage, because why not? Okay, yep, doing a little shimmy, side to side. That's cool too.